Hey buddy, this is Steven. You can call myself the QC Game. And we are back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. For the last video, something really sad from the science stories that like, maybe feels like crying out for it. If you don't know what I mean. The one science story that I have is something to do with it between Sayori and Yuri. Yuri somehow seems like, um... <laughs> I can't I don't know if I'm not to say this. It's so hard to like, like she's trying to be like, like show everyone like how she does, but on the other hand, Sayu was just trying to do like be something fun or, or trying something like get interest to her or trying to be socialized. I mean, the fact is Yui never been socialized to anyone else. She like she only did but just reading books. That's all she does. It's kind of really strange from Yuri on the other hand. And then things get really start to really harder and harder until the very end, something sad things happen, and I kind of felt bad for it between Yuri and all that. I mean. I kind of feel like they're like she's trying to like be friends to try and get get interested from her or something. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot that I don't understand much exactly. Even then, the side story just still like involve an unrelated stuff. And who knows? It's something might be up to something. And also, when I sometimes like pull up, time somehow changes that fast. I mean, some of the the dates is on like starts at right here. Which it did comes out for like when I downloaded the game, which is kind of really strange. And then as I show, I still keep like this, except that one of those folders is the like uh, number, so uh, the cat files. I mean, of course, it, that's the part that like run time like when I open up the game and I went to the desktop and everything. And yeah, nothing changes, but I'm not sure I want to like delete <laughs> to a character files because I don't want to mess everything up. But some of the game, some of the files are like still the same. Except the folders are that I kept then, like, so same. So, there's no telling what's been going on exactly. And I'm trying to look something really interesting. Well, I wish I want to, but I was a bit busy a lot, so. But we did remember one thing. It's something to do for, like, um, this weird project thing, exactly. Uh, go through two, and then two, and then four. Wait, that's not even it? Uh, I can't remember. What, what's it called? I have to go through it like those type of keys. Oh yeah, two, two, one. I got the wrong number. I just like don't even know where it came. Project plan. I think everyone's been theorized to say something for like uh, what this there was a project called like um, the Beto. I'm not sure if everyone had theorized or something like that. Maybe something different like um, do some kind of experiment or all these four girls. Which I'm not sure, I'd like something like try and give life to exactly, I don't know. But it's had to something to do for those like those beat data plans or something. Even I don't know much exactly. Even I wish I wanna go through the old files and everything again, but it'll take like a long time. But the only thing I found unexpected is only with home one, two and three with track zero six nine I name ideas, but it won't even like open it. Like, why? Like, which track were you referring to? I mean, I was thinking it was something different for those music. Like, if you go to music, it says here number six is Poem Panic, which, which I looked them up on YouTube on one of the Dance of Us YouTube channel. They have on like on soundtrack music. And apparently, they have one. Is uh, it did have some like a number of track were there exactly, which I'm not sure why it didn't like show or something. Maybe it's something to do for like something else exactly. I don't know. I wish there might be some kind of like a certain way to do it. Well, none of it matters. But there are no males still. And also, when I go to the settings, the percentage are uh, going up because of the data collecting thing. Most likely, I'd like gain some like everything else, like go for pictures, music, the sound, on side stories, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, I think that's all we have for some reason for the last part. So. Anyway, let's just go back to the main story, where we left off exactly. There's just nothing else to do, we just keep on going. Which, it might be changing, so I might be able to look back to those folders before I, something happens, so... Yeah. And... where is the left off here? Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, my god, don't even dare do something like I thought I saw the clutch or something. Okay, everyone! We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room, please. Is this about the festival? Yes, of course, about Natsuki. Wait, it's about festival. Which can we wish I want to see what the real festival be look like? Which cannot, because at the end of the day, one of them is going to die. Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not that we can't put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Really, Yuri? Not even like, all you ever do is just read books. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori so has been working on posters, and I designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. No, neither than those. I need to know why. I'm not sure it's like about during meeting time or something, or during like free time, what do you want to call it. I didn't mean to click on the right button, okay? We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come out and recite poems too. So I'm putting in all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of the time. <laughs> Saya, who's been cutting in posters, old enough for us to see. Which I don't want to say what the puzzle would look like exactly. I mean, I wish it doesn't. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh? Well, I did. Did you really think it's a bad idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I, I could never in my life do something like that. Because you have never been socialized with everybody else, right Yuri? Okay, that's how it is. Imagine it, Yuri shakes her head in her in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poem with anyone until just a couple of days ago? Like yesterday? And the law asked for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event, in each put on a good performance, then it'll inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature's all about. Yay! It's about expressing your feelings. Is it about like express your heart or something? Be intimidated with the show, finding your horizon, and having fun. That's right. And those reasons, they're all in this club to get today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. So it looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice, which I had to step in there, which is the only one guy here. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Uh... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. <laughs> Does she? I don't think so. Uh, okay, fine! I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew! Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri digitally glance around at room, everyone else, expecting his face, which Yuri still is afraid of, like, 
No, no, she never talked to anyone else, though. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Not the one! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be on. going to be the death of me. Don't even dare jinx it. Don't say death if you're referring to. You're gonna be in next by the time it happens. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose the opponent of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! Monica! This is too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Yeah, that's one thing. You don't know, you keep practicing. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can you go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Marka flips through her notebook to a specific poem she has in mind for herself. Did she been prepared and everything? I don't know how many poems she wrote. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Marka begins reciting her poem. Her clear confidence voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she just pretty really, uh, natural? I mean, what do you expect? She did like used to be going for the big club, does she? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. So Sayori looks amazed. Yui has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finished the recitation. I really wish I wanted to hear what she's saying. The four of us applaud. Good job, good job, Monica. Monica takes a deep, takes a breath, and smiles. That, that was so cool, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to see a good example. Are you ready to go next, Ayori? I'll go next. Yay, Yuri! You're going really that fast, is she? Like, trying and jumping in the gun and like, like, oh my, I'll do it! But I'm sure next thing now she's gonna be, be, like, froze. Ah! Yuri's firing up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her hand down, she walks quickly over the podium. This poem is called... You anxiously glance at each other's, each of us. You can do it, Yuri! I it's called... After, Mara After a Mage of a Crit's Nye. Your voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why has she suddenly put in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Because she always like it reading books a lot! She's more like a bookworm, is she? Her quivering words transform into a sharp syllabus of a fierce and confident woman. The poems will twist and turn in its structure that she inoculates with perfect timing. Which I don't know how Yui wrote those. This must be a rare glimpse into a worldly fire Yui keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yui snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. Did everyone feel like shock or something like, What am I hearing this? What kind of poem was it, Yuri? I'm the first to start applauding. If it joins me after it, it would give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Even though she may be afraid of it. Or she may have a like, stage fright. It's not that we didn't want to apply it for her. But we were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we plot, Yui holds the poem to her chest and rush back into her seat. Like, just like that. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. <laughs> like, she's like, she's going down. <laughs> oh, she must be like, it's a hard time to let me do poems. Okay. I guess I'm next then. Say so hops out of her chair and chiefly walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Meadows like grass, right? Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. Really? Are you like not prepared or something? <laughs> Sayori. 
it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you were assigned to other people. Imagine you were assigned to yourself, like in front of the mirror or in your own head. Yeah, don't even say that, Monica. You can say in front of a mirror, like talk to yourself or something like that you're referring to. But Sayori, <laughs> not in good conditions, like she can't even like understand about her own end exactly because of her depression and anxiety. It's your bond, so it'll come out the best that way. I see. I see. Okay then. So it begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheerly like Sayori's. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gave it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she liked my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even Steve would like it. Of course, because I really wish I wanted to know what it is. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. Yeah, this the other poem fits you really nicely. But it might be the other poem wouldn't work quite as well with the kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I see poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. Of uh, what? It is just better to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to pick you a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, what's next? I wish it's gonna be next. Let's go. Hmm. Don't make me go before Steven. It's not like I compare it to you guys anyway. Might as well let Steven lower everyone's standard a little before I had to do it. Man, that's okay. You have a hard time, like, can't, like, read for yourself or in front of everyone. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I sat and stand in front of the podium, which I want to know why. Are you referring to, like, my podium? My boy like that before. I don't know. Everyone has their eyes on me. Make it feel terribly awkward. <laughs> like, everyone's not really like trying to touch to me. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it less about your ability and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. Well, the thing is, I, I did it like one time, um, I, when I do some kind of like a uh, project presentation or something, I had to like do some like talk to write in front of everyone, I was very nervous to be honest, and I had like, a hard time like trying to speak out loud or something, and show uh, any kind of display I did so far, which it might be hard to explain as much exactly, but... <laughs> On the other hand, uh, I still I think nervous. It's something my body is starting to be shaking for a bit. I mean, that's how it happens. Like um, when I do for a bit of like making videos around the time, do like voice pitch, it, my son that my body feel like I'm shaking. That's explain why I've been doing it much exactly. So um, I'm not very good much with like doing presentation and everything. So I you know, get like everybody else has to kind of like a thing. That's something that I'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because that's who we are. We just give us an example as our audience. Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway. The poem is called Jump. Really? Just a one word, jump. <laughs> oh my god, that's okay. Even then, the last poem that you wrote about, like, gave me, like, hate 
living like a spider dame, that's really something. Nitsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her soul attitude to disappear a little. Now she turned normal. While she's still a little on an enthusiast, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes the and everyone applauds. She hops back to her seat. That wasn't bad, was it? It's for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah, uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. Seriously? I mean, until it happened like a few minutes ago, you're like, there's no way I can do it. Now it's all like, I can handle this. Do you sure you can handle this, Natsuki? I can put up whatever face I want for other people. But when it's my, just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'll be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess that that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poems to recite instead. That's fine too! It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pa patiently surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It made me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. If you do weird pose like always, that's the only thing you can do, Monica. Not everybody else. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same to see as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. What about Natsuki? If it's for the sake of the club. Impressed Monica. Why impress Monica? Then I have to do my best. Ready to go? Uh, ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Look at you two! Always going home together like that! Because that's how we do, because we're best friend. Let's go! Adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys! Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well. How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Steven. You still have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. It just feels like to me my protagonist is well embarrassing. I walk home with Sayori once more, staying straight up always. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey! Um, hey, Sayori! Sorry, I was facing out! You're doing it again, aren't you? You do thinking something about, like, sad things. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something about earlier. I like how did we get to... I, I mean... So I found with her words. So, let's just say that one day, you were asked to walk home with you. Why would you ever say that? Don't you dare say that word. I always be with you, no matter what. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Nehehe. <laughs> well, I'll walk home with. I will walk home with Yui. I would still walk home with Sayori. I still go to the bottom. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But, but. She's so adorable and smart. So what? Even then, we, you still. M very important than anyone else because you have a problem. You're just like me, Sayori. Jeez, I always see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Steven. 
You think about me too much sometimes. You really could deserve it if she wanted to, so. Sayori, I already made up my mind. If something happens to you, if you're a gun, Yui is going to flip out. Trust me. And we can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides. Uh, besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trades off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Well, sorry. What? He said Monday, right? So today was Friday, right? Because in, J in Japan, school days only runs on Monday and Saturday. And you only have like no schools on Sundays. So that's the only thing you have. Who knows what will happen in that time? Well, what do we do? We just write the poem. We do the same day like always. And I'm hoping that I get like something perfect. Or was I always if I got a mind? Um, this is really weird. I'm not sure what I could pick. Um, dance. Okay, so you like that. Um, childhood. Um, bear mixture. I'm hoping to get something like it's uh, um, get perfect for Sayori if I got one of the words right. Um, sucks. No, nope, I don't think not. Well, um. But I can still load. Of course, it, the poem somehow changes that fast, so that could be a problem. Uh, smile. Um, laugh. Mm, adventure. Okay, no, yes, I really like that. I should look back from those poems, too, so I'll be able to know that if I get like a perfect one. Um, playing ground. Well, that's screwed. Maybe next time I'll do something, I'm hoping to get something pretty perfect, so... Um... Dead? Uh, I think not. Um... Sunny? And... Joy? Um... Jill? No... Um, wonderful? Jumpy? <laughs> really, Nasuke? You like Jumpy that much? Uh, family... Um... Memories and childhood, Saint Dean. Um, promise. Um, of course, there's Doki Doki, which I kind of like achieve it for that, for like for some reason. Um, rain jumps? No, you would really like that part. Um, clouds? Really? Let's get you like clouds. Um, depression? So you like that? Um... Dance? And... Vacation? I guess I like that vacation. Lazy? Um... Fun! Maybe I should like write notes for it. See if I get like, get the perfect word for sight. For, for the girls, just in case. Ah, oh, man! I'm the last one here again! What have you been up to, Monica? Don't worry, I just walk in too. Were you practicing piano again? Like the usual. Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and not picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. I'm not sure it affected the poem if I write something. What it has to do for like a right subject for certain girls to give, like where I write poems from Sayori or write poems to Yuri, or where poems for Natsuki. Then to how many words I get, like if you get the most words I got from anyone else, that's the only thing you can hang out with. So yeah. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it went wasn't for all of you. I'm super happy that you all waiting to help out for the festival too. Can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Yeah, it's really strange back then. Well, yeah! I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food! You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica! Do they usually have fried squid? 
You mean like Takoyaki? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Eh? I didn't see I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, all, you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Man, Ika. It does not make sense, though. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Yeah, back and forth, what is that? Translation. You're speaking English. What's really saying is that if you call the settings, it's a language settings, which can change. Eh? Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> bye, fine. Your reaction aren't as fun as Yuri's and or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at the desk in the corner of the room, looking at nothing. Oh, uh, you have uh, mental issues now. This is something bad happened, is it? I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah! Eh heh heh! Sorry! Don't mind me! You can go talk to everyone else! Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me! I'm fine, see? No, you're not fine at all! You have something sadness inside of you! Or like, something like her own dark side, or something. Sorry shows me a big smile. Don't be distract- Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I warily glance at Sayori before turning back before- Turning back towards everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe you should ask Monica if she knows anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. Timidly approached Monica, who shuffled through some papers at her desk. Steven! What's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? And what way do you mean? Well, she has some kind of like mental issues, isn't it? I mean, it's not really weird, like, if you get like a most layers from each girl, sometimes you go talk to them. Which would be strange. But I try to talk to her, but the only thing I can talk to is Monica, like, anything what happens to Sayori. Maybe I'm reading it to. reading into it a little too much. But she seems a bit downcast again. Oh? You think so? I can't say I noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who's. Digitally dragging the rubber eraser up and down her desk. Is she playing around the eraser? Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Steven. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bother her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also his. I'm also friends with her, and I'm also care about the well-being of my clan members. You know. Yeah, you referred to me, Monica. Don't get get clingy. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Um, she seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe that thing on her mind is you, Steven. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say this too much, but... Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? 
No way. Sayori is always like that. She always been full of sunshine. For the outside, yes. But for the inside, not really. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Steven. Have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so careful, cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Ah, I said it too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to a conclusion, so you just should you just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, all right. Marco smiles meanfully. I know she said to forget about it. But I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Maka stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I want you to kneel down next to Sayori until they talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much I do I care about her that I'm letting this weight me down weight me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I could do besides wait for Monica. Which that's the only thing I could do. Okay everyone! After some time pass, Monica calls out to the club room. Why do we share our bones now? Man, how long has it been? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retreat their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Well, one thing we can't do: go talk to her right in front of her first. I mean, that's how it was. So maybe if I write poem there and I go show her first, then it'll be something maybe triggered. So instead, I'll go like random the name there. So, uh. Whatever, whatever, so... Uh, oh god, I'm burning myself, so... Sayori, we need to have a talk. This is your best one so far. It's really not really... It's really, really nice, Steven. You know, I keep saying that with the weird symbol there. Uh... Thanks? Mm-hmm. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course! Everything is fine! Maybe I'm just a little tired today! <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly! Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Steven? I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Okay, this is starting to get really interesting. Like, if it happened if I wrote poems for Sayori, sometimes to do a free time event to, like when something involves Sayori, then I can present the poems to show it to Sayori. Because I had a trickers a lot. Because I did part with doing like Sayori words, when you want to call it. Wait! Of course I do! But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you had to something sometimes put up with me. And I had to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No! Steven! I don't deserve this! Sayori, don't you dare deny it! You aren't deserving this! You're too nice to me! Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steadily all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier! Well, not much easier for you, Sayori. You left her feel alone. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori! I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me, 
What will cheer you up? Sayu shakes her head. She sniffs and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she can herself and put a smile. It's nothing, Steven. It's just a little rain cloud. Like rain clouds on your head. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> Dude, Sayori, do not deny it. Don't even yet deny it with your own smile. Your fake smile. It could never happen. I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles for everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit earlier today. Don't you dare walk away! Don't you dare! Sayori! Tell me I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow! Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Dang it! Let me get a chance to read a poem. No, uh, why are you have to leave, Sayori? You made me feel bad for that. <sighs> well, I gotta go check on Natsuki because she's my second favorite. This one's all right. Yogi keeps saying that again. All right. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday, anyway. I see what you're going for. But it's just not really my style. You're always keep saying that again, like last time. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying to a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least, at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? I mean, why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Is that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no? Gross? It's not like I care. It's just... One of us in this club has to make sure you're not slugging up. Really? Well, what if you end up just scaring me away? That's... Uh, um... It's not that like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to be hanging out here, even if I had to put up with you. Gah! Natsuki elbows connect with my stomach. Did she elbow me? Oh? Maybe I would mind scaring you away at all. I was just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> you don't get that joke, Nestiki. You don't get that at all. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of a point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds a poem out to be like nothing ever ha even ever. Um, I'll be your beach. Your mind is all full of troubles and fears that diminish your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go, a shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream, dream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in the way you drew thought had left you long ago. And goes down here. Okay, make sure that like the full piece of everything. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in the pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams, and hold my hand. Wash your insecurity in the salty sea, and let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful. When you press your lips to mine. Okay. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in the way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. Man, it all feels like you're writing sun lyrics or something. Maybe it'll be better if you make this like the title of the song. I'll be your beach. <laughs> Maybe you could become a singer. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things. So I wanted to write something with a nice message for it once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Have you ever been to the beach, Natsuki? Kinda of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So I decided to write about the beach first. Then I came out with the message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, I 
at the union, I realized me kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it. Oh, whatever. Ugh, can you really see her doing that too? Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I cared. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there is nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay then. Well then, let's go for Monica. Hi, Steven! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I have to give it some thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It will also make me happy too, see? <laughs> anyway, let's take a- Okay, uh, me the- Do you mean to press the right click, okay? Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Do you like it? <laughs> it's kinda funny. How so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems, as Ayori's poems, have become more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, have you? Uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. But since I'm joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me, about how Sayori sorry, has been a little bit off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Uh... Well... Steven, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. What would you think then, Monica? You're not really jealous, are you? Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her. So keep an eye on her. So you've been actually so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could happen all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Okay. A lady who knows everything. No tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. A lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, on meaning, on purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Okay. Lost through the sky, victim at the current of the wind. Jeez, Monica. You're uh, writing something interesting. It says something weird that's expensive now for like a little bit. Day after day, I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim stars glimmering in the twilight, the twilight sky, almost as like twilight, until one day the wind ceased to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and I fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. Um, is there more? Okay, there was more. Um... Okay, don't get too far. Uh, but the hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. Okay. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a humble voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with the breath, she blows me back afloat and pick up a gust of wind. I'm so really weird about this poem. The lady who knows everything. It's not like this poem is about her, Marka, right? Like she knows everything about the game, or oh, whatever we call it. Sometimes she write, rewrite it, sometimes delete the one of the character files. That's something. You know. I feel like learning and looking for answers are sort of things that give life meaning. Nothing too great to philosophical or anything. But it was kind of in my mind, so that's what I wrote about it. I see. 
I never really put much thought into it. In a way, anyway, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, when the world starts to lose its meaning, you know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. Oh, don't, don't you dare say that. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, oh, yeah, that! Anyway, here's Monka's writing tip of the day! Well, as usual. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can't be really disheartening to get a lukewarm respond to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoys writing, the shame becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, okay, or bad, they want to focus more on everything that the one they went into and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little little club, don't you think? That's my bye for today. Thanks for listening. Yeah, thanks for the wall breaking. I'm pretty sure you is not gonna talk to me and not gonna show it poem with me. Yuri doesn't look too you do see about spending time with me. You can see change her mind. She'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. And I respect him for that. <laughs> because you is to keep last and and a bit ignored, so anyways. Anyway, and go safe here. I'm pretty sure this is the part where I'm going to pick like who who am I helping with, and it was like an hour long. So, okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Yeah, it excludes Sayori. Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviate from your usual catchphrase when you're just in the club. Yeah, you did say that. Just make sure of it. C catchphrase? I don't have the catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yui is immune to it. Uh, standing in the air is common for showing that something terrible is about to happen. Yeah, you, like, you knew it was gonna happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. Ah, uh, it seems you're right. Uh, Sayuri always helps lighten the mood up a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is drawn up a little when she's not around. Yeah, if something happens, she's not around. Everything's gonna be bad. What did she run out to, anyway? I thought she went, just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Um, yeah, because I'm right here. <laughs> oh, come on! Ah, uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? Well, yeah, that's a one big excuse. I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you to be all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, uh, I didn't mean to click that. Uh, she's kind of been, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. And now you says like, "Oh," looks like somebody to be suspicious. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. That's more like a tuck him survey. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway. We need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so let's decide what everyone would be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Making cupcakes. I thought she do. That's going to be making cupcakes. But we will might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to print in and simulate all the poultry pamphlets. Sayuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, 
um, Yui, you can... It feels like Monica doesn't know what Yui can do. Uh, uh, um, uh, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yui? I, I'm useless. No, that's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now that he's pounding too. Not the way I was special faced, I look. Jeez, even I can tell now. Like, cause I never gave Sayori enough credit. But I can tell things aren't even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So, you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Of course, makes it banners. That's what she did. She has like, kind of like a net collection she has in her own house. I think. I'm not sure if we have a living in our own house. Does it, do we have a dance right here? Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Really? That was really interesting. Your expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Steven. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica just dancing? I spend the weekend with one of my club members. How are they going to respond to such a session like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of a hand up. Well, if you don't know how to make, there's always some dirty work I could get to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Like I tried to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Yeah, didn't you say that word? Steven may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting you with the decoration. Hold on! I never say that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Steven to- w What are you saying? It would be extremely Macaulay's work. And baking is it? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's sound down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Steven to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I wish. So I'm sure you'll be inter interested in- You legit just said- uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. Steven? You okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case? If it looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going to wit. Only one of the only options is Sayori with three dots there. Let's go over here if I go with Monica. I'm not happy to still keep Sayori. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, I prefer help with Sayori. I mean, Rory neighbors and But Monica said Monica said that Sayori was helping her Jeez Do you really hate us that much? N no Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? But what happens if I choose you, Monica? Well I guess I should probably help you be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me! You say thing like what you last time. Hold on a second! Hold on one second! Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs a lead help out of all of us! <laughs> of course, I got like weird goofy music. Eh? But, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Steven was the one who... Ah! That doesn't matter! You know, you were the one who scared me into picking you in the first place! You're the club present, Monica! 
You need to personally make responsible the decision for the club. Micah, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? Well, what are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it's time that you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. Won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resource. Um... Uh, so, are you going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Huh. It's technically most logical for Steven to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have preferences, Steven? I feel like the whole girls will be very disappointed. <laughs> Anyways, since no one else has evolved with, so I'll go with Natsuki because she's the only second favorite I like. Well, Becky sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could be probably used two people. Don't worry! Becky is a ton of fun! You definitely agree! Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that. That's because. Uh. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway. You'll be fine by yourself, right? You mean. Of course. Um, used to it, after all. Well, now we're in agreement here. Doing absolutely nothing. Anyways. That's. good. Even though Yui's being uh, melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Any anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What about you, Steven? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me! What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulky. <laughs> like always. Mm. She feels like, like still nervous, like usual. Natsuki starts pounding too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big deal, big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Huh? I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little... Unappropriate. Underappreciated in general. I have to come up with something for her to do. Then nobody offering to help. That doesn't matter. That doesn't mean... Yeah. Uh. Let's get a glance back at Ford. Between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts her hand down on Yui's shoulders. Yui! You really aren't a most talented one here. And... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performance. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Let's Now let's release her hands and turn around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um... Not really, but... Yui isn't the one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki all of a sudden to be saying that in the current deeds. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at the time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I have to see everyone doing their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay.
I'm staying here a little a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plan for the week this weekend. You literally would have gone home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Well, don't get so steady. I'm not sure we have each other phone numbers. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slip of mind. Jeez, good thing I stop you. Um, I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make a weird ending. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the equipment. Wait. You coming to my house? It's gonna be a shame because Natsuki don't wanna go to, uh, go to her place because of uh, her father. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I like a could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Yeah, he would definitely going to kill you for that. I'm not sure if her dad's really that abusive. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can do that when my dad is home. I can't do that. I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I'll guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, follow me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love Biggie so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to it. Looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be getting that now. See you Sunday. Eh. Ah. Never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house. On Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I have gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Tayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I have a good time. <laughs> At least I is. And it's already Sunday, so it's really strange. I'm not sure how the time will change. It would be easier to go and on like a daytime or something. Well, anyways, the anything might be changed when I go back to the desktop. No, not really. So they got to something to do it for like if all the one person I have to be late to. But we got new things, we got new pictures. Um as a poem there. Natsuki's third poem. Um I don't think there's nothing here. Um is there anything new right here? Oh, there's no. Uh Key Art of Monica and Sayori, drawn by Kagifumi. That was originally planned to be official DDLC artwork. Oh. In Act 1, try both Sayori and Monica for the weekend help before choosing Natsuki or Yuri. Oh. That must be weird why I did pick that. Uh, what's the other one then? Oh, there's more like a uh, CG's cutscenes. Uh, it's more like behind the scenes stuff. So. The sketch of the Sayori's second CG cutout and aligned with the angle of the background. Because their backgrounds were first rendered in 3D. Huh. Maybe they must have done it in Blender then? Some fine adjustments were required to make sure the 2D drawing of the character fits seamlessly into the perspective of the scene. Okay, what is this? In that one, write all three poems for Sayori. Okay, so I did that. That's really interesting. Um, oh, there's one more. 
uh, a sketch page by David Evelyn to test and compare different hairstyles for Sayori. Oh. At, in Act 1, tell Sayori you would still walk home with her. Okay, it's really interesting. It's more like giving like choices, and sometimes new sounds been come coming up. And also notice that uh, it's difficult artwork is this one uh, about the size story on this thing too. Maybe I should change the wallpaper there, because why not? I mean, this is almost like Yuri, so and we got new music. I push sure it's one uh, right here, doing the sad music like always. So, anyways. I think that's all we're gonna have for today, since I think we're almost getting closer to like for the first act, if you presume for it. Which because uh, the act was going to take a long time from act one, then happen to act two, then for third and the last. And maybe next time if it happens, if I do have, like go for two endings like I did last times. Since I did been proven a lot recently, since sometimes back then I make some kinda of, like little less minutes as possible. So that way, it makes this like harder, so... Yeah. But anyways, I'll come back again for tomorrow, and see what this store for me. And hopefully nothing happened. Also, did something maybe change the files? Because, I know the fact is when going through progressing the stories and everything, if something might be changes, I need to look back if something happens, so... Who knows what comes next, so... Um, anyways, that pretty much it for Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you like this video, hit that like button too. Light them up! Eh, want see videos or check out? Yeah, we can subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Ladies!